Hey guys, this is Karan Bilani from Mobi Scrub and in this video I'm going to talk about the best note-taking applications for your Android smartphone. And the first one is Evernote. It is the best one uh, amongst all that I'm going to talk about. So you can uh, sign in with your ID and that makes sure that you can access your notebooks, your notes, uh, everything from anywhere. So whether it's web, it's desktop, it's a uh, tablet. You can create notebooks. Within notebooks you can create multiple notes. You can search these uh, notes uh, you know, using a search function or by tag. So you can classify your notes as to-dos, your business or apps or whatever. And you can uh, share these notebooks with uh, your friends as well. So you know, if you want to share your notebook with someone else's Evernote account, you can do that. Just enter their email ID. Now Evernote lets you create different type of notes. So just tap new note. Uh, you can create checklists, bullets. Uh, you can add or attach pictures, files. Uh, take a camera note, a handwriting note, an audio recording or an audio memo. So you know multiple type of notes are possible. You can download these notebooks and make them available to you offline. One of the other really good things about Evernote is that it can be accessed on computer. So you can download a software and you can, you know, you have all your notes right there on your desktop. You can also browse through a website. So you can access, um, you know, you could just log into Chrome or, or Internet Explorer from any computer and have a look at your notes. Uh, needless to say, you can have this on your tablets as well as other smartphones. But if you want a really, really simple app for taking notes, then you've got to install Simple Note. It's a deadly simple app. Uh, you've just got two things, all notes and trash, and below that your tags appear. So if you want to add a note, just tap on the plus icon. Uh, put tags to your notes because it helps you classify them or categorize them. If you want to make it important, just tap on that dot. Uh, it just works like a simple Word document. So no checklists, no bullet points, no text options, nothing. At the most, you can share them through different apps. Uh, and you can, you know, create your own account uh, to kind of sync your notes. And as you can see, your tags kind of appear on the left-hand side. The third one is Google Keep and it's like a great combination of you know, good features with a very simplistic UI. You've got four different type of notes that you can take. You can put reminders, you can archive stuff. Uh, the first one is a regular note, so just like a simple word note. Uh, you can add reminder, a location one or a time reminder. Uh, you can change colors so that you know, it helps you uh, distinguish different kind of notes. Uh, you can create a checklist and again give it a different color if you wanted to. Uh, you can take voice memos, so you just record stuff. Uh, you know, you don't have to, it doesn't translate into text, but it just records your voice and you can play it back later. You can also take a picture note. So, you know, you just take a picture of something and add a note to it. That's simple. And you've got all of them really nicely aligned uh, on your screen. You can share them through multiple apps, of course. Uh, you know, if you want to sh send it to a friend or someone. You've got a really nice widget that you can place on the home screen and it just puts all your reminders together on the home screen for you to view anytime. The fourth one is called Classic Notes and it's a little different because it looks old. Uh, it's got the, you know, the old UI that we had earlier. Uh, you can create multiple type of lists, just to-dos, shopping lists, a sketch note. You can create folders and have more notes inside that. Uh, so let me just take you through a couple of them. So this is a simple word note. Uh, you know, you don't have much uh, options, but again, just a simple word note. You can create a shopping list. So that's my grocery shopping list. And you know, I can also add costs and, and quantity to kind of get uh, the total. Uh, there's a to-do list and I can of course you know, put check marks against these. And it's very simple to add new tasks just by typing your task there and adding, sorry, and uh, tapping the arrow. Extras is basically a whole list of uh, templates that you can use. So let's say um, you know, I, I want to go with, let's say abbreviations at the top. Uh, I want to search uh, LOL. Let's let's say that uh, LOL. Okay, and it's just going to give me uh, you know a couple of options uh, what LOL stands for, and just like a template that I can use as a reference, and I can you know change stuff. So I've got a couple of them that I can use. The last one is called Papyrus, and basically it gives you the feel of you know writing on paper. Uh, you can use your finger to draw stuff, to write stuff if you want to. Uh, and again, you know, there are a bunch of options that you can use later. I can change the pen color, the, br the, the width or the thickness of my pen. Uh, I have an eraser tool and I have a selection tool. So, you know, let's say I draw something like that or I, I, I write something with my finger. And of course, I can use a stylus, a capacitive stylus, which I can buy for really cheap uh, elsewhere. Uh, I've used a selection tool right now. I select something and now there are options on the top. I tap that and I can change the color if I want to and that's it, it's done, I can change the color. Uh, there are multiple options that I can do after I select something. 
That's the eraser tool. Again, I can, uh, you know, it just erases really quickly, uh, and I can change the width of that as well. I think it'll be a great app to play tic-tac-toe with your friends. <laughs> um, anyway, the best part really is that if you have a Galaxy Note sort of a, you know, a pen, uh, sorry, a, a phone with a stylus, it's actually pressure sensitive and it gives you a lot more freedom. Uh, you know, you could write with your uh, pen uh, and then you can suddenly use uh, your finger to erase. So it just toggles automatically. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, so it's, it's really helpful if you have a Galaxy Note uh, sort of a phone where you have a stylus built in. So guys, those were the best note-taking apps that you must have on your Android smartphone uh, and kind of covers all kind of notes that you might want to take. Uh, so thank you for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and do leave me a thumbs up. Thank you once again.